for that. You know, so <clears throat> we'll come back to you for, with more. Uh, actually, Mitesh, if you could stay with us for a bit longer, I want to want to get your thoughts on metals. But let me just put the context uh, for our viewers, right? Uh, now, the uh, there is this much anticipated. I mean, uh, everyone is covering it uh, that uh, tomorrow the Ministry of Finance in China uh, is uh, having a meeting, and then there is a press conference. Uh, now, the context is this that. Uh, Markets got very bearish, and I think Chinese authorities are aware. If you uh, sort of read articles coming out of there, that markets got too bearish post the NDRC press conference. This is the last one uh, which was supposed to throw up this stimulus after China came out of the Golden Week holiday, uh, but nothing came uh, really. The big question uh, for markets is if the policy pivot is still on track post that uh, presser, or is it actually fizzled out. And I think. In that context, we get the answer tomorrow, and this becomes important. Uh, now, there is also a little bit of nuance here. While markets got very excited because of NDRC, because of, I mean, before that there was the Politburo, uh, so there was too much emphasis on that NDRC meeting. But NDRC in China largely looks at investment projects and partly involved in fiscal uh, deployment as well. It is the PBOC, the Central Bank, People's Bank of China. And the Ministry of Finance, which is largely responsible for what they call cyclical policy adjustment, responding to uh, you know the ups and downs in the economy. Uh, now, one other thing before I get to the actual expectation, the finance minister, the Chinese finance minister himself, will address and take questions as far as the uh, press conference is concerned. So, what to expect? Uh, so, here are a couple of things. Revisions to official fiscal deficit requires a NPC approval, which is National People's Congress. Uh, which is another important uh, body, which will meet only late October. So the Ministry of Finance, uh, as far as we can tell, will not be able to pre-approve a large budget spend ahead of this NPC meeting, uh, which is only sometime in late October uh, or early November. That is the next uh, National People's Congress meeting. The possibility is, and this is essentially now the actual expectation, the possibility is that the Ministry of Finance may give markets an implicit heads up about an upcoming fiscal stimulus plan. They may actually indicate towards a fiscal plan quite strongly, especially this may come up, uh, a directional sense of this fiscal spend may come up during the uh, press conference, which is uh, expect where they're expected to take questions, etc. as well. Remember, after the NDRC meeting as well, there were questions taken, there was a press conference, a specific question was put to uh, you know the authorities at that point by the Reuters journalists, about a fiscal plan, and uh, they did not really commit to it. So expect a repeat in terms of questions at least. And, and the hope is, the expectation is that we will not get a big headline number because they can't do it without uh, the NPC approval. But they may actually strongly indicate towards it, especially because I guess the authorities in China also don't want to uh, sort of let go of this momentum that they are seeing at least. Uh, over, which has developed over the last fortnight or so. So this is, uh, you know, it's broadly the expectations. Don't expect a big number tomorrow, uh, which is essentially what what gets everyone very excited because you you know one can fixate on that and say, well, this is this percentage of the annual budget in China, and this is what it will do to growth, etc. But expect an indication that they are committed. I mean, as a possibility, they may not do it, but an indication at best. And maybe a strong indication if you're lucky, especially the metal stocks here today. Mitesh is, uh, 